We know that every element of a group has an inverse. Say we call that element A. Then the inverse of A is the element that, when combined with A on either side, produces the identity of the group. But what is the inverse of that inverse of A? Well, it turns out the inverse of the inverse is just the original element, which is what we'll prove in today's Wrath of Math lesson. Let G be a group and A an element of G. We're going to prove that the inverse of the inverse of A is equal to A. This is a super straightforward proof, just a nice exercise to start proving some basic results about groups. Give it a try yourself before watching the rest of the lesson. To prove that A is the inverse of its own inverse, we just need to show that it follows the definition of an inverse element. In other words, we just need to show that if we combine A with A inverse in any order, we always get the identity. It's basically a one-line proof. If we combine A with its inverse in this order, then this produces the identity element by definition of an inverse element. A combined with its inverse has to give the identity. Take a moment to notice as well that we're using familiar multiplicative inverse notation, even though we're not necessarily talking about multiplicative inverses. So combining A with its inverse in that order produces the identity. Additionally, by definition of inverse element, we know that combining A inverse with A in this order produces the identity element. Thus, by definition of inverse, since combining A with A inverse in any order produces the identity, we have that A must be equal to the inverse of A inverse. So the inverses kind of just cancel out and leave the original element A unchanged. For an example we're familiar with, what if we take the multiplicative inverse of 3 and then we take the inverse of that? Well, the multiplicative inverse of 3 is just its reciprocal, 1 third. What's the inverse of 1 third? Well, that would have to be the reciprocal of 1 third, which is 3, right back to where we started. So that's how we prove this very simple result about group elements. Every element in a group has an inverse, that's one of the group axioms, and we just showed that each element is the inverse of its own inverse. Pretty cool, so I hope this video helped you understand this simple result. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Links to his music in the description. I'm not me.